Is there one number that tells you how happy a person is, how much well-being they have? Is there one number that you can measure in a nation to ask how the nation is doing? We discovered that optimism um, predicts physical health and emotional health. It affects our relationships. It affects our performance. Yes, negativity will occur. There will be bad things that happen, but at the end of the day, we want to celebrate the positives, the, the thank yous, the, the gratefulness of our community. You interact with others at work, home, and play. Even if you work by yourself, live alone, and like to vacation in solitary places, you still interact with others. And the wonderful thing for me about character is that there's really no trade-off. That in character you find that you know, you're an imaginative, gritty person. For that matter, you're an honest, kind, emotionally intelligent, creative. Like, if you are those things, the wonderful thing is that the beneficiaries are both you as an individual and very much the people around you. The message here is if you're hiring people, uh, you want associates to be productive, almost everyone you know is smart enough to do the job. What you want to find is the people who can stay with it, the gritty, resilient people. The resilience training taught me how to go from supervisor, Sergeant McCoy, to mommy. All of you are coming to this course with very interesting personal experiences and observations about the world around you. So think about a hypothesis that you have and use that hypothesis throughout this course to apply the concepts to your work and your life. You're not there to change people's values. You're there to find out what they value and to help them to maximize what they value.